In today's video, let's talk about what's new when it comes to China's super engineering and amazing mega projects currently being built and completed in the country. So without further delay, let's proceed. Hi everyone, Richard Aguilar here again and I'm back with another awesome video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our great videos. So without further ado, let me take you to my video. Number 1 is the construction of the 2022 Winter Olympics venue in China. Jiang Jiaco, a northern city of China is the venue of the 2022 Winter Olympics. And now, here is a glimpse of how it is being constructed in high gear in Jiang Jiaco to co-host the Games. Beijing will complete construction of all competition venues for the 2020 Beijing Winter Olympics and Paralympics later this year according to report and speed up construction of supporting facilities in transport, meteorology, and security according to the top official from the capital. Number 2 is the world's first 300M class hydro dam constructed. The world's first 300M class low heat cement hydroelectric dam is being constructed. It is located on the border of Sichuan and Yunnan provinces in southwest China. It is the thinnest super arc dam of 300M class in the world with a thickness height ratio of merely 0.19. The dam, which is ranking 7th in the world and 4th in China on the Jinsha River, is a concrete hyperbolic arc dam divided into 15 sections. With a total volume of concrete placement of more than 2.7 million cubic meters, the dam crest is at an elevation of 988 meters, while the maximum height from the base to crest of the dam is 270 meters. Number 3 is Yinchuan Xi'an High Speed Railway Completes Track Laying. A section of the Yinchuan Xi'an High Speed Railway in northwest China completes track laying. The 618-kilometer long railway links Yinchuan capital of Ningxia Wei Autonomous Region to Xi'an capital of Shanxi Province. The section in Shanxi is 326.7 kilometers long. The section applies ballastless tracks in tunnels and ballasted tracks in other parts. The high-speed railway is scheduled to start operation by the end of 2020. Number 4 is Beijing Xiong'an Inner City Railway set to open by year-end. Workers have started laying tracks in the Hebei section of the Beijing Xiong'an Inner City Railway. The 92-kilometer-long intercity railway stretches from Beijing West Railway Station to the Xiong'an New Area will go into operation by the end of 2020. Number 5 is track laying for China's northernmost high-speed rail. Here is an actual footage showing that track laying begins for China's northernmost high-speed rail is under construction, which links Mudanjiang with Jiangmusi in Heilongjiang province. The railway is located in a high-altitude cold area, which is challenging both for builders and future train operators. Number 6 is China Laos Railway Tunnel Completed.
construction of Changgang No. 1 Tunnel in southwest China's Yunnan province, a key project of domestic part of China Laos Railway, was successfully completed, making it the 68th tunnel finish among all the 93 tunnels along the railway. Changgang No. 1 tunnel stretching 5.8 kilometers long passes through a tropical rainforest area where forest coverage reaches 87%, rare flora and fauna are plenty, and river systems are complicated. To protect virgin forest, wild animals, and plants, the construction team adjusted its plans for several times. Number 7 is Shenzhen Junction Link under construction in South China. Now, here comes another amazing mega project from China. China is again on the move in building another artificial island in order to build another sea crossing bridge. The first immersed steel cylinder is connected to an artificial island on the Shenzhen Junction Link in South China. The sea crossing with a total length of 24 kilometers, will greatly facilitate travel in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. Number 8 is Xinjiang electricity transmission volume surges 47%. Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region has transmitted 35 billion kilowatt-hour of electricity to other regions in the first five months of 2020, a year-on-year -year surge of 47% according to State Grid's Xinjiang office recently. 26.5% of the total amount of transmitted electricity was generated by clean energy. Number 9 is Arches of Massive Scale Railway Bridge, Southwest China's Tibet. With the pouring of the last concrete into the girder of Zhangmu Railway Bridge, the two arc sections of the Zhangmu Railway Bridge on the Sichuan Tibet Railway Line were joined. This signifies the completion of the main construction work of the 120 bridges on the line. The Yarlung Zhangbu River is the longest and largest waterway in Tibet. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. So if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. And once again, this is Richard Aguilar. 
Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.